Hello guys, welcome to our channel No Developer. So in this video, we are going to see how we can create an onboarding screens using Jetpack Compose in this Android X Studio. So for that purpose, we need to create a function, a composable function, obviously, which is a fun onboarding screen, onboarding screens, and uh, we are going to create the onboarding screens just using the view pager of the Jetpack Compose. Simple swipe and scroll options we have uh, in those particular vertical or and horizontal view pager. First, we need the pager state, and uh, the pager state should is the pager state. And for that purpose, we need to use we are going to use the remember pager state. And uh, this needs two things first, the initial page, which is obviously in our case it's a zero, and the initial page offset fraction, which is. 0f and uh, after this we need to provide the number of pages we have uh, for this page state i'm gonna have the three page states and uh, three, i have three images to show and uh, so for that purpose it's the simple and uh, we need to opt in for experimental foundation api after this i'm gonna create a box and uh, this is simple the box and the modifier for the purpose modifier dot fill max size width height whatever you want so i'm gonna modify dot fill max height and inside this i'm gonna create a horizontal pager and this pager has the state so i'm gonna provide the pager state variable here and then inside this view uh, horizontal pager i'm gonna create the box and this box uh, the modifier dot fill max okay and uh, inside this fill max size i'm gonna also have the content alignment so content alignment is equals to content alignment dot center so i want my all content to be in the center and uh, inside this i'm gonna create the column now this column is for modif just showing the content of of the onboarding screen so modifier equals to modifier dot fill max width and padding of this column is going to be the 10 dot dp and vertical arrangement arrangement dot center now i have this column and this column has gonna have two things column i'm gonna have two things so a one is the icon and uh, icon is basically to show the image and how we gonna show the images so that's the reason uh, that's the thing for that purpose i'm gonna create two variables resource which is going to have remember and zero and uh, second one is the text blank text okay, blank. on the basis of the pager state value pager state dot current page i'm gonna have for zero and uh, then uh, for one then for two text in the uh, for the first page the text should be uh, is going to be the do messaging as much as you want but just click like this video and uh, the resource is going to be the r dot drivable dot first then simple the same thing is for the uh, other two things and uh, make new friend and comment anything in this video comment okay uh section is going to be the r dot drivable dot second then the text is uh, upload videos or images but be sure to subscribe the channel then uh, resource is equals to r dot drivable dot so uh, on the basis of the page state that means the page state of current page i'm gonna have these values and uh, just painter resource and here provide the resource description is going to be the onboarding screens and uh, the text is going to be the text now here you can create uh, the modifier value here like uh, modifier a okay, modifiers to modifier dot width and uh, i'm gonna have 500 dot dp and uh, height as 500 dot dp so this is uh, and uh, yeah that's it uh, for the content purpose and uh, let's have this is going to be the box and this is the horizontal pager and after this horizontal pager i am gonna create a custom indicator thing so how we gonna create the custom indicator so simple column and in this column we gonna have the modifier equals to modifier dot 
fill mac with padding of uh, 20 dp and then alignment which is the alignment dot bottom center and after this horizontal oh sorry not horizontal horizontal alignment and the alignment dot center horizontally and inside this i'm gonna create a row and uh, simple repeat it three times the custom indicator indicator class and i'm gonna uh, i just need something which is this selected and uh, page state dot current page is equals to it we need to create the custom indicator composable and how we gonna create this composable this is simple add composable fun custom indicator indicator and provide the is selected variable here is selected as boolean pop modifier equals to modifier dot padding of 2 dot dp then background as color equals to if is selected is true then color dot black as color dot gray and here i'm gonna choose the light gray as and uh, after this the shape the background as and after this the shape the shape equals to going to be the circle circular circle shape and uh, we also need the size so let's have size as 15 dot tp and that's pretty much just call the onboarding here onboarding field and then let's see how it's gonna look like okay so that's pretty much actually and uh, let's see so the app is running okay now you can see everything is working fine actually uh, the black screen is showing because we uh, provide the tint here so we'll just provide tint as color dot color dot on specific now rerun the app and you can see everything is working fine so so this is how it's it looks like do mess this is the text this is the image and if you swipe you get the second image and second text the third one now here uh, what you can do is basically you can uh, create a variable which uh, stores the variable value as visible so whenever the pager the current page value is going to be the pager state dot current page is going to be the three or the last value then you can show the uh, button to the user and on click of that button you can simply uh, move the user from this screen to the main screen so yeah that's it for this video if you like this video click like button if you found this video helpful just comment it below and uh, comment whatever you want and also if you have any feedback or something just comment it below also be sure to subscribe to this channel, press the bell icon and I am going to see you in the next one. Bye bye.